Well, hey everybody, got uh, another video for you today for a NVIDIA Game Ready driver release. So this is the latest version from NVIDIA for their Game Ready driver released on the 23rd of this month, which was a couple days ago. And so I've been testing it and flying it, and now I'm going to let you have my opinion on it. So the version is 531.41. That's 531.41. And if you can't tell from this video, which has several samples of high, down low, in the valleys, in the towns, there's some city shots in this video, and I think you'll have to agree, this is some of the most fluid smoothest performance I have ever been able to eat out of this. Now, I have not really changed much of my settings at all from my previous settings video that I released uh, maybe a month and a half ago now. We've had the Sim Update 12. We had that in beta. We had five beta versions of that that we tested and then it was finally released. So Sim Update 12 is the official release now. And the NVIDIA graphic, like I said, just released 531.41 game ready. The studio version of this was already out, I think, about three weeks ago. But the game ready, 531.41. Now, I am flying on a laptop. This is an Alienware laptop. I only fly VR. I do not fly in a regular mode because I don't have a good monitor. All I have is a little laptop. It's a 3070 RTX. And look at this, look how smooth this is going by the window, whether it's the side, the top, the bottom. I mean, just uh, a little bit of stutter when I look to the left there, but I think I forgot to turn my fan on <laughs> at that point. So now we're in a different jet, uh, different aircraft in a very different location. And you'll see, I mean, yeah, when I'm down low, close to the ground and moving fast, sometimes it takes a little bit of a second to catch up to me, and I might see a skip here or there. But I'm not seeing stutters or anything. I'm not having any crashes so far. It's really been a great driver release, especially combined with the latest sim update release. And uh, so we're just around a somewhat busy airport now. I don't have too much turned on because like it, it looks really nice. And if I was flying non-VR mode, I would probably have a lot more turned on for traffic. But for VR mode, I really don't require it, and there's no need giving up the resources for it. Uh, so a little bit more stutter here as I'm close to the ground and close to the buildings. But again, I have not really changed any of my settings yet. So I'm still just flying with my most recent settings, and I'm going to keep flying it and just slowly make adjustments, and then probably. Since we have a new driver update and we have the new sim update, I would say I will probably have a new settings video out within about a week or two. It takes a while just because of the fact that you, you change a setting, you test it for a while, you change a setting, you test it for a while, then you go back and undo the first change you made and test it for a while. So yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of time just to try all the different variations. But. I don't mind doing it because in the end, you know, yes, I share it and hopefully it helps on the view, but really I'm just trying to get it to work the best I can for myself. Now you can see I have things on like bloom and ambient occlusion, which I usually do not fly on. My ground textures, uh, uh, grass and bushes are on medium, buildings medium, trees are medium, I think. But it is pretty smooth, pretty quick, pretty fluid right there heading down that highway into the city so anyhow i will keep testing it i would recommend downloading it it's a good performing driver for me so far and it's like i said the, the performance improvement that i'm getting for smoothness is just really i can't complain at all it's just really really fluid going past my window as i'm flying through here so yeah good driver anyhow I'll keep testing and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the skies.